Hey guys, this is Candle, and welcome to The Curse of Monkey Island. This is the third game in the Monkey Island series, and the only one in the franchise I have never actually played. Uh, I know I said we'd be taking a look at Silent Hill, but uh, I changed my mind. There's just something about that game I just don't quite like, and I think it has to do with the controls. It's a beautiful, wonderful game, and I love the game. I just cannot stand the controls. <laughs> I'd forgotten how much I can't stand the controls, so I started testing things out for the, the stream and stuff. Anyways, this is a classic point-and-click adventure game, and uh, it gives you a two different difficulty levels, which is really kind of odd. We've got The Curse of Monkey Island being a tale of swashbuckling adventure, and The Curse of Monkey Island Mega Monkey Edition, which is more puzzles. So, I'm always a glutton for punishment, so let's go ahead and go with more puzzles. So something really kind of interesting, neat about this game is it, it's very much like a hand-drawn, like, Saturday morning cartoon style in, in terms of its graphics. And unfortunately, it didn't get the full, like, HD makeover that 1 and 2 did, but I, I think it still, it still holds up pretty well, even if it's a, a bit pixelated and blurry and stuff like that. But eh, what, what can you do? This game's, what, 15 years old by this point? Almost 20, something like that? I don't know. I think it's, like, 15, 20 years old by this point. Actually, no, it, it's definitely like 20 years old, uh, considering it's 2019. I forgot what year it was. <laughs> Here I am still thinking it's like 2015. No, no, it's 2019. Nice early CG there. <laughs> ah, deep in the Caribbean, because that's where all these games take place. Monkey Island. I think this picks up like immediately following the events of Monkey Island 2 where Guybrush is kind of stuck in this carnival of evil where he's a kid and LeChuck is his brother somehow. I don't think they ever actually answer that, whether or not that's real or anything, but uh, there's Guybrush in the, uh, in the bumper car from the uh, amusement park, so I guess we'll find out. Captain's Log, Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now, and I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. Well, my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I had thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. <laughs> oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. And yet there goes the if fresh I could water. If reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Oh, Guybrush. Mm, maybe some bananas. Just look up, man. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. <laughs> But yeah, if you haven't already guessed, this game has a bit oh, of a comedic bent to it. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? Am I... Well, he's drifted somewhere. Yes, the curse of Monkey Island. The third Monkey Island game. The first was Secret. The second was Lechuk's Revenge. The fourth one was actually my entry point, but like I said, this is the only one I haven't actually played. I played uh, Escape from Monkey Island a couple times, I played uh, Secret of Monkey Island and Monkey Island 2 a couple times. I actually did Let's Plays of Monkey Island 1 and 2. Uh, they're on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash channel340 if you want to check it out. For those of you watching on Twitch, uh, those of you watching on YouTube, you already should know about it. So go check out those videos, uh, a lot of fun, there's one really and frustrating puzzle in Monkey Island 2, though, that really screwed me over. But either way, <sighs> glad to be back with Guybrush Threepwood. This was actually the first one where he was voiced. Uh, Dominic Armado, I think, was the, the voice actor that said. You'd have to go back and check. Um, they did get him to come back for Tales of Monkey Island and for the remakes of, of Monkey Island 1 and 2. So, I mean, he's he is Guybrush's voice, pretty much. He's been in, in all five games, so... Maybe maybe eventually we'll see a Monkey Island 6? I don't know. Who knows? I mean, Telltale's gone now, so... I don't know what's up with Tales of Monkey Island now. It, it did kind of feel a little soulless, though. 
but we'll, we'll see how this one holds up. Like I said, I've never played this one before. I have no idea what I'm in for in terms of puzzles or, or anything like that, or story or, or stuff. So, kind of feels odd to me that they put the credits first. You don't see this too often with games, uh, at least nowadays. Usually the credits will either be at the tail end of the main story, or they'll be accessible from the main menu. And there are a few games that actually just throw up the credits every time you leave the game. Uh, Beyond Atlantis did that quite a bit. But you don't really see too much in terms of title credits or anything like that. And I don't know if they're running the full credit list or just like a quick title sequence. So the ghost pirate LeChuck is now a zombie ghost pirate. Do I have to tell you, LeChuck? I just don't feel that way about you. <laughs> Elaine? By my congealed blood, you'll learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a classic Blast excuse. Be your hair, woman. Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? I love that they're waiting for responses before they fire yeah, off the cannons. I don't think my father would approve of me <laughs> dating the undead. She has no and mouth you're in probably that. probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. Let's just be friends instead. I mean, given the pixels they had to work with, it's not surprising. Chuck, you're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Darn your riddle, you saucy female. What do you mean? It's not a riddle. I thought she was oh. very explicit in what she was saying. You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved. Skybrush Threepwood. Aww. Ah, uh, how romantic. Yeah. Ship ahoy! I wouldn't really call that a ship. <laughs> Uh-oh. Fish him out. Well, that's not good. Guybrush? Guybrush, Threepwood. By my gangrenous gut, I don't know how you escaped my carnival of the damned. But you won't escape the taste of my blade! <laughs> ah! Nice shot. Ooh, the lass has spirit. Throw him in the hole and I'll finish him after the battle. <laughs> Turn loose the long boots! And prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball. Not the flaming voodoo cannonball! Part one, the demise of the zombie pirate LeChuck. So we gotta kill LeChuck again for a third time. How's that gonna go for us? I really have no clue. Anyways, we are finally pretty much in the game now. I've got to get out of here and help Elaine. If I can only get through this one door. And then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! Okay, who is this guy? Alright, I don't know what the actual controls are for this game. I know it's point and click, so we're going to be using the mouse a lot. But beyond that, like, I don't know. Okay, right click is the inventory. We've got helium balloons. Okay, I is inventory. You know. Trying to see if... if Different buttons do anything. Your... Oh, that's volume. Do... All right, let's go back down there. Boom. Uh, I don't know what that did. Pause, maybe? I don't know what. Like, what is the? Okay, that's pause. Your drink fills water ah, your there we go. So this pulls up our money. menu. We've got unlock. Talk to, examine. All right, I think default is pretty much just examine. Or not. All right, so that doesn't do anything. We got to pull this up then. I 
see a diorama of the children of the world living in peace and freedom. Aww. No, wait. It can't be that. It's just too dark to make out what's in there. Oh. Okay. Can take this. Uh, can I... Unlock. I don't have my lock picking tool. Well, that's a shame. Reduce your fort to hey, what about talk to? There are any of you stinking wretched fiends of the damned in there? Could you open this door? It's not that I'm trying to escape or anything. It's just that I'd like to step outside and enjoy an adult beverage. <laughs> All right. Uh, I couldn't force that door open with my bare hands. No. Well, it looks pretty sturdy. I feel like I could take on the world. Well, then you take on the world, you. Okay, so that opens that you up to. You in the fort. Your doom be at hand. I just I find it odd how Somehow, it's doing this. I find all this okay. So basically, the enter key or the return key opens up your contact sensitive commands, your your uh, actual like classic point and click commands. Let's go ahead and look at the pirate. I don't think I've ever seen a cuter pirate. Aww. Can I push him? If I rough him up, he may shoot me. Yeah, probably not a good idea. Okay, let's get some information out of him. Stand your distance. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Who are you? I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose, the wickedest fiend ever to sail under the banner of King Death. I'd as soon chew your nose off as look at you. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do we want? Is that a real eye patch? I sure it be real. Then why are you wearing a monocle underneath it? It keeps the dust out of me eye socket. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would oh, you yeah. on with a ship of the living dead? Well, Mr. Brush. At first, I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audio books on parrots, I've become a vicious corsair. You can too. Ask me how. Um, do, do I really want to know? All right. Uh, let's see. Tell me about these seminars. The seminars really brought things into focus. You don't know how empowering it is to be able to say to yourself, Yes, I am a despicable, filthy, villainous pirate deserving blame and censure. But that pirate is who I want to be. Yes, it is. Everyone was really very supportive. We had this great feeling of synergy. Then LeChuck kicked down the door and said, You lazy scum, get back to work or I'll beat you with your own legs. <laughs> All right, that does sound pretty Tell motivational. About these motivational lectures. Well... They weren't lectures as such. It was what LeChuck described as flogging the inner child. Really? Anyways. Tell me about these audiobooks. To become a pirate, the audiobooks on parrot are the key. You get a set of 12 parrots, one a month. Return as many as you like. Keep them all and live. They teach you to talk just like a pirate. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver me timbers. Who's a pretty bird? <laughs> All the phrases a pirate needs to command respect on the high seas. Ah, oh, Monkey Island. Do you have any literature I could look at? Here. That could be useful. I have no this idea what it is, but. explains the basic philosophy I follow. All right. Set me free, Wally. Yes, please. I can't, Mr. Brush. I'm the evil pirate blood nose now. Aww. Besides. Even if you got up on deck, LeChuck would cut you to ribbons. What's behind that door? Ooh, that's the door to LeChuck's treasure hole. There's heaps and piles of gold and silver. He's brought all the loot he's ever stolen to give to Elaine. LeChuck is convinced that he can buy Elaine's love. How romantic. Mm. All right. What are LeChuck's plans? He's been working on a secret weapon. Some incredibly powerful cannonball. He's going to use it to blow down the walls of the fort so his crew can overrun the island. Okay. Snap out of it, Wally. That's blood nose to you, you scurvy sea bass. No, you're Wally. You're a failure as a pirate. 
Shut your trap, you yellow bellied blowfish. Okay, maybe not such One a failure. Be better, you, and I'll do you in. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you and what navy? Yes, scabrous swab. One more word, and I'll let you have it. All right. Word. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. No, you're I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna. Oh, <laughs> we made um, him cry. I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> See, Wally. You're, right, Mr. Wood. you're not cut out to be a pirate. Not a pirate. No. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even. I'm not even unpleasant. <laughs> Oh, I love the characters in this oh, game. There, there. All right. Uh, well, his hook is plastic. <laughs> That's mine now. Can I pick up a cannonball? Mm, they're too heavy to carry. Okay, maybe not. Can I use the cannon? Oh, hello. I can actually use it. Interesting. Okay. Damn it. A little bit more. Yep, that's what I'm trying to do. Come on. Yes. All right. That's kind of the point. Come on, a little bit lower. Too low. All right. A little bit more. There we go. And now this one. I'd rather not aim for the fort. There we go. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. Yeah. Pretty nice. Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Can I? What can I do about the gate or grate rather? <laughs> oh, Guybrush. That was a terrible pun. It's a great grate. I can't reach it. All right. Ooh, can I do anything about the ramrod? Yes. How the hell does that fit in there? What the frick? All right, let's take a look at some of our stuff in our inventory. Can I? Yes, I can. Okay. They're very festive. Yes, they are. Piracy. The Lechuk way. Chapter one. How to get more than 15 men on a dead man's chest. <laughs> All right. It's Wally's fake pirate hook. <laughs> Looks like a ramrod for the cannon. Okay, can I combine them? Yes. Okay, can I combine that with a balloon? I can't use no. a balloon with that. This is only no. for reading. All right. Can I, no. Okay. So I've got that combined, but now what? Cannon restraint rope. I got to get rid of this somehow. Because I think I know how I saw the, this puzzle. This was kind of like the demo that the the game originally had I could never untie that big knot why not okay can I look at it it's the restraining rope for the cannon okay so I don't know if there's multiple ways to solve this or not there might be I can't quite squeeze past this cannon all right can I get in the muzzle don't tell me Murray I could just get my hands on that gunner <laughs> Can I call you Bob? You may call me Murray. Murray. It's Murray the talking skull. I am the harbinger of your doom. Oh Murray. The of darkness will applaud me as I stride to How the I missed you. Carrying your head on a pike. Stride. <laughs> All right then roll. Roll through the gates of hell. <laughs> Must you take the fun out of everything? Uh you know, you look great with a melting candle on your forehead. <laughs> I get the feeling you're not taking me very seriously. No, no, I'm not. No, I am, really. Really? No. Then let me hear you scream in terror. Um. Eek. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're about as fearsome as a doorstop. Is it a really evil-looking doorstop? No. Never mind. All right. Uh, Was your mother's father bald too? I'm not bald. 
I just have a really high widow. <laughs> sure. Well, at least now you never have to worry about what to wear. Well, I suppose that's true. Man, accessorizing is really easy. Yes, that's it is. So true. And I look good in hats. There you go. Uh, How can you see without yeah. a fall? I'm kind of curious. You walk around without a brain? Hey, I've got a brain. No can answer. I'm going now. No, I don't want to go. Now leave me alone. I have a lot of scheming and evil plotting to do. <laughs> All right. Can I? There's a skeletal arm floating in the water. All right. Ah, well, I think I know. I Use this. Whoops. At least I've lost some weight. Oh come on. Why do oh, I? There's not much to do out here. There we go. A bodiless head. All right, so we can use the ramrod and the hook. We get that. Hey, that's my arm. Give that back. That's not your arm, Murray. You're just a skull. Hey. <laughs> I thought we were actually gonna pick him up, but I guess that works. All right, let's go back inside here. <laughs> Now, where did that arm go? Is that in my inventory now? Yes. Skeleton arm. I can't use the skeleton. I can't use this. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. That doesn't need cutting. All right. But I know what does. The cannon restraint rope. <laughs> All right. Ha <laughs> ha! cold steel, feeble cannon restraint rope. Because the cannon is how we're gonna get through this door. All right. We can soul Wally at all. I can I kind of feel bad about him. Well, I don't want to disturb him. No. He's had a hard day. Guess not. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and use the cannon. Now, with the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball, I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world. <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. Yes, yes, it will. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. Uh, Neptune's navel, that was a close one. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. All Al Elaine cares about is the fact that Guybrush was still on there. It has gone belly up. It's going Poseidon Adventure on us now. That is awesome. I love Poseidon Adventure. Such a great classic disaster movie. The remakes weren't nearly as good. Hey, I lost my cutlass when the ship capsized. Aw. They use that. This LeChuck and all is gory. Duh, glory. <laughs> I see more than enough of him already. All right. A beautiful high capacity washer and dryer combination. Oh, nice. I'm curious. Can I talk to the portrait? Nah. No. Okay. Flotation device. I don't even want to know what LeChuck's plans were for that. I'm not sure I want to know either, but maybe no we can use it. Pirate would be seen wearing that. Oh, maybe not. Music box. It's got a zombie ballerina. <laughs> nice. It got broken when the ship capsized. Damn it. Uh, no. Um. Ladder. Can I use the ladder? Because the ship is capsized, this ladder goes to oh, nowhere. Apparently not. A champagne bottle. It's a bottle of sparkling formaldehyde. Good year too. All right. <laughs> Mm, no. No? Hey, I can see the ocean floor. Well, that's there's nice. There's a really angry looking skull floating around out there. <laughs> that would be Murray. That's uh, not the kind that opens. Oh. Uh, let's see, what else? Teddy bear. What's with the teddy bear? Looks like he has a sword it's in stabbed him. stabbed through the heart. Cute and yet sinister. All right. Can I maybe grab the sword? The bear's too big to carry around, and the sword's a oh. fake plastic one. Damn it. Chocolate covered barnacles, marshmallow hooks, sea urchins, glass eyes. <laughs> Marry me or die. Touching. Yeah. Hey, it's the Songs for Undead Lovers collection. Okay, so this is basically where we gotta go, I think. I just am not sure how to reach no, that. If only I could find a way to get up there and get out. I mean, we've got helium balloons. I can't use a balloon with that. I can't use a balloon with that. No. I can't use a balloon with that. I can't use a balloon with I can't use a balloon. I can't use a balloon. I can't use a balloon with that. Not with the flotation device? I can't use a balloon with that. Well that sucks. Chateau emblem. 
So we don't use the balloons with any of this. Pirate literature, I don't know what that's going to do. Skeleton arm. I can't use the skeleton armor. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. I can't use the skeleton no. armor with that. I can't use the skeleton There doesn't seem that. to be anything I can pick up. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. But I can't use the skeleton arm with that. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. No. All right. Uh, record collection. Hey, it's the songs for our Oh yeah, I, I already checked that out. Now my hi-fi is broken, and it's impossible to find a quadraphonic needle anywhere in oh, the Oh, Chateau Caribbean. Embalm, that emblem. So what do I do here? Really unclean lucre? It's the biggest pile of treasure I've ever seen. Filthy lucre, unsanitary lucre. I finally found my treasure. Yes, I'm yes we have. I'm a real pirate after all. Unfortunately, we can't do anything with it. Um, can I? Because the ship is capsized, this ladder goes to nowhere. No, but can I take the ladder? Nah. Because the ship is capsized, this <sighs> ladder goes to nowhere. I want to take the ladder. I don't want to. What do I want to do? I have no idea. We've got flotation device, but. No self respecting pirate no. would be seen wearing that. All right. What do we do? Hmm. Can I take the wreath? I don't know. That seems kind of crazy. No. Basically, I'm just yeah, trying to see if there's like disgusting. anything we can interact with. Pirate. What do I do? I can't use the skeleton armor. I didn't that. think so. Hmm. This is only for reading. This is only for reading. This is only for reading. Damn it. What do I do? <laughs> Oh, damn. Somehow we've got to get up and out of here, gaping hold of the surface. But I can't reach it. You know, if only I could find a way to get up there and get out. Yeah. I wanted to use the ladder to climb up there. That didn't work. I wanted to try to use the helium balloons. But that wasn't working either. I can't use a balloon with that. So I, don't, I don't know. They're fun, but I need to use them with something else. Yeah. It's a skeleton arm. It's all bony and creepy and stuff. Chapter 2. Leg iron or flogging? The age-old question. Yeah, I'd say that is the age-old question. Uh, question is, though, can we pick up any of this? Uh, it's bad luck to grab booty under a ladder. Oh. Like, I'm trying to see if there's, like, another screen somewhere, too. But I think it's just the one screen. It's such a small space. I could just pick up and move the ladder. Because the ship is capsized, this ladder goes to nowhere. That's fine. I just want to move the ladder. Um... That stuff is disgusting, even for a pirate. Home appliances. I have no place to plug them in. Ooh, hello. Here's something. A Chuck's unused I comb. I hate to think what that comb's been through. All right. I think the Chuck needs it more than I do. Oh, can't pick it up. <sighs> Damn. Well, what do I do? It got broken when the ship capsized. Oh, here's a bag. It's a bag of wooden nickels. Some treasure. Yeah, but hey, it's something. There's a big diamond ring behind this bag. Ooh, nice. Let's pick that up, too. Alright, glad I finally found something. Let's take a look at these things. Alright, uh, let's take a look at the ring. It's a diamond ring. Yes, it is. I can't wear that. Oh, why not? It's a lady's ring. Oh. So? It's a bag of wooden nickels. This bag of nickels feels light. What if I... That doesn't take wooden nickels. I can't use a balloon with that. I can't use this. I can't use the skeleton no. with that. So what do I do now? 
Use it on the treasure? No. 